Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through frames in OpenGL, guys. So basically, the question in your mind is what are these frames? So basically, frames are nothing but the whenever you do different different transformations or whenever you do some operations on a given point or object, you're gonna get a new positions of that object, right? So if it is initially at P1, that is nothing but X, Y, Z. So now you moved it to some other position that is nothing but P dash, that is X dash, Y dash, Z dash. So this is nothing but the transformation and in the which, sorry, in which the position has changed, right? So this completely we can say it as a frame. So a frame is a step at which the transformation occurs. So basically the transformations occurs at different, different places, right? So those are the positions we call it as a frames. Fine. So if we take a small example, 3D viewing view pipeline is one of the best example for this guys. Okay. So generally there are five frames in 3D view pipeline. So at each frame contains a set of vertices who are completely different from the previous. So there could be some different, different transformations which will be occurring in between. So that is the reason why we're going to get some new coordinates once we do some particular operation. Okay. So I'll be giving you a generalized explanation example for this guys so that it will be 100% clear for us. Okay. So initially the main goal of this view pipeline or 3D view pipeline is nothing but Whatever images we draw or we take in our phone, everything is 2D guys. 3D are really rare to display in graphical systems. So that is the reason why we will be using this 3D view pipeline. So it converts the 3D image into 2D image. That's the main goal. So converting a real time 3D object into an object on a device that is nothing but 2D is 3D viewing pipeline. So we are totally having, I told five frames, right? So first frame, second frame, third frame, fourth frame, fifth frame. Initially, we are having the model modeling coordinates that we will be converting into world. Then we'll be converting the world into view coordinates. After that, projection coordinates and device coordinates. So I'll be taking a small example for this. All things, guys, we'll be taking a small example and we'll be arranging them all in an order. So that we'll be having a clear idea. So here modeling will be done, viewing, projection and viewport transformations. Okay. Okay. So now let us go through the theory or shall I explain you first? Okay, I'll be just explaining you. So let us assume initially you got your friends. So let us assume your college has completed. Now farewell, everything is done. So you are waiting for your final group photo. Okay, so initially all your friends will be at different, different locations, right? Your friend will be in one friend will be in your classroom and one other friend will be with juniors. He'll be talking with juniors and some students will be with teachers. They will be calling with faculties. Some students will be busy. In some other activities like that, they will be at different, different locations, right? So we will be knowing those locations in this model coordinate. So th that's the location where these model coordinates are given to modeling transformations. So this we will be getting the world coordinates. So exactly where they are there. So that is the reason why we will be saying that this gives the exact, now the exact object coordinates are identified. So that's the reason why we will be saying as world coordinates. So initially they are somewhere, somewhere. So using this model transformation, modeling transformations, you have converted those coordinates to a known coordinates for you. Okay. Okay. So after that, you will be saying them, we are, we are ready for, we are taking a group photo. Please everyone assemble in some place. Okay. So they will all be assembled in some positions, right? So that we, that we can call it as a view coordinates. Okay. So in that, even they assemble at one place, few of them may not be fit in the frame, right? So let us assume this is the frame. There could be one or two guys who's, who is off the frame, right? So those guys will be clipped off. So that is the reason why you'll be saying, please adjust, please come closer. Everyone, everyone, please adjust into the frame like that. You'll be saying some words, right? So that is nothing but you. Now you will be taking the, now every once everyone is set, you will be changing the camera locations, right? So your friend will be saying lower angle, upper angle, middle angle, high angle, like that they'll be saying, right? So that is nothing but the projection coordinates. So now you got the projection coordinates and now you will be fitting them into our device at the end. So that will be your device coordinates. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So I have just took a small example. So now let us go to the points. Okay. Modeling coordinates. Modeling coordinates are nothing but initially the objects are not in a proper order. Okay. Even the sizes, heights also look as I forgot about this. So they are, the, they are arranged in a proper order in ascending so according to their heights or sizes or everything, anything like that. And the coordinates are moved throughout the model matrix and perf and would be and world coordinates could be obtained. Fine. So we got world coordinates now. So world coordinates. 
Now the exact object coordinates are identified. So once I told you that your exact friends positions are known to you and now they are passed to the transformation and view coordinates are obtained. So view coordinates, I told you view coordinates here the objects are checked whether they are inside the viewing volume or not and clipping is done. So if they are not in the viewing volume, they will be clipped off and passed through the projection transformation to get projection coordinates. So projection coordinates are nothing but I told you, right? So the camera angles, viewports and all those things. Focusing is done and move, move to viewport transformation and device coordinates are obtained. So device coordinates are nothing but your system coordinates in which you can clearly see the object. So I hope everyone got a small idea. So according to the size, okay, the image size is reduced and increases according to the device. Fine. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in the next tutorial, we'll be just going through the 3D cube guys. So this 3D cube video will be uploaded later on guys. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through the review of this chapter. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.